I plugged not one, not two, three, four or five batteries into my wall socket, but six. That's over 17 kilowatt hours of storage. And no, this isn't a joke or some sort of crazy unsafe experiment. This is actually how the Zendur SolarFlow 2400 AC is designed to work. Hey, it's me, Martijn, and I test smart battery powered gadgets so you don't waste your money or time. And for today's video, we're talking about my real world experiences with the Zendur SolarFlow 2400 AC. Before we go any further, let's quickly cover the basics. This is a modular AC coupled plug in home battery system, which means it lives in a very specific space between simplicity and power. So on top you have the control unit and underneath you can stack up to six batteries, the AB3000X batteries from Zendur. Each battery adds just under three kilowatt hours of usable capacity, bringing you a little over 17 kilowatt hours of total storage. Because this is an AC system, you don't connect solar panels directly to it. Instead, it charges using electricity from your home installation. That could be, for example, excess solar power that would otherwise be exported to the grid or electricity from the grid itself. This also means that the system works even if you don't have solar panels, especially in combination with a dynamic electricity contract. Understanding this is the key to knowing whether this system makes sense for you. Now, setting everything up is straightforward. You open the boxes, remove all the protective materials, Remove the rubber caps from the top and bottom and then stack the batteries. In my case, I stack not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six as mentioned before on top of each other. The last piece is the control unit on top. Then you connect the AC cable and plug this into your wall socket. To unlock all functionalities, the system needs real-time insight into what your home is doing. That's done via a smart meter connection, like Zendur's P1 meter. You plug this little device into the P1 socket of your electricity meter and the system can react instantly to export, consumption and overall load. So, speaking about load, if you plug this into a normal wall socket on a shared circuit, you're realistically in the 800 watt range. That works well for base load like lighting, uh, networking gear, and for example, standby consumption. But it won't cover big peaks like EV charging, a heat pump, or even something like a microwave at a thousand watt. For those moments, you'll still rely on the grid. However, if you want to use the full 2400 watts, you need to set that in the app and use a dedicated circuit. In my own setup, the system is in the attic on a very light circuit with only two small LED lights. So, while it's technically not a fully dedicated group, I am comfortable enough to let it run at 2400 watts. And there's a bonus to that placement. Because if we ever need to move upstairs in an emergency, for example when it's flooding, the backup power is already exactly where we'd want it. The key takeaway is simple. You don't need a perfectly isolated circuit, but you do need to understand what's on it. So far we discussed the power limit, which you can set in the Zendur app. Now, this app is basically the heart and the brain of your home system, and it's powerful. At first it can feel overwhelming, because you're just not choosing on or off, you're looking at a full overview of your house and choosing strategies. The home screen shows your consumption, what's coming from the grid, the battery percentage and output, outlet load and solar generation. Now most users will use one of the three modes. Zenki AI, expert mode or the automatic mode. Speaking about the automatic mode, this is the simplest option. It stores excess energy and discharges it later, aiming for a zero on the meter style setup. Zenki AI mode is more advanced. In this mode, it looks at usage patterns, electricity prices and expected solar production and optimizes charging and discharging. The last mode, expert mode, gives you full manual control. You can define schedules, limits and priorities. It's powerful, but not for everyone. The other thing is, with the latest update, the HEMS update, the Home Energy Management System update, Zendur has added quite some interesting new capabilities. 
For example, the system can now take your car into account when managing energy. Another big addition is the smart heat pump control using Shelly relays with an SG ready interface. I can't test both because first of all, I don't own a Tesla and secondly, I do have a heat pump over here, but I'm not using Shelly relays with an SG interface. But what I do know is that it looks very promising because Zender is actively improving their product. They also improved smart home load scheduling so you can shift loads directly in the app without needing external automations. And for those who have a dynamic electricity contract, they now support a 15 minute interval. And on top of that, they also added, of course, an AI voice assistant. So you can set easily a quick mode you can do some device control and ask for basic insights. Personally, I haven't used it a lot because the automatic mode already works perfect for me. In all honesty, after a few days, I totally forgot we have a battery system here at home because it just runs quietly in the background and you don't have to do anything. Now, with a larger battery stack, the biggest benefit is not powering everything, but covering long stretches of base consumption. Now, my goal is to store enough solar power during the day to cover my nighttime usage. Or, as mentioned before, the zero on the meter goal. This way, I'm effectively shifting energy from cheap or surplus moments to expensive ones, especially if you're on a dynamic contract or have very low night rates. That's where the value really comes from. So you know this is a 17 kilowatt hour system. And charging it daily from 10 to 90% and accounting for about 85% efficiency, I get around 11.5 kilowatt hours per day. With solar export at about 5 cents in the near future and electricity costing 30 cents per kilowatt hour, that's roughly 2.9 euros saved per day. If you calculate with 250 sunny days per year, that's about 725 euros per year saved, which puts the payback at roughly 7 to 8 years. Dynamic tariffs can shorten this, while fewer sunny days can make it longer. I also want to discuss the off-grid outlet, which gives you access to backup power directly from the battery. If the grid goes down, for example, you can keep your essential devices running, things like your fridge, internet connection, lighting, or charging phones and laptops. But good to know there's only one outlet, so make sure you have a proper extension cable if you want to power multiple appliances. This is where the attic placement makes a lot of sense for me personally. If we ever had to move upstairs, because of an emergency which will most likely be flooding here in Holland, that backup power is already exactly where we'd need it. It's not meant to replace a full home backup installation, but it's very useful for peace of mind. Just like with every other battery system, you have some losses. Because energy gets converted and some of it turns into heat. What matters is how much of your stored energy you can actually get back. That's what they call RTE or round trip efficiency. And from what I've experienced, the Solar Flow 2400 AC performs well compared to other plug-in systems. On a 600 to 800 watt load, I am seeing efficiency anywhere from about 85 to 90% in real world scenarios. And that's exactly on par with other high-end systems. So the biggest question is who should buy this system? This system makes a lot of sense if you have solar panels and exporting energy is becoming less attractive. A dynamic electricity contract and you want to shift consumption to cheaper moments. You want to start with a small setup and grow it over time. Or you want backup power for essential devices. The other question is of course, who should not buy this system? Well, if you for example expect that one battery will power your entire house. Or you want to scatter batteries around the house, each with its own power outlet. And lastly, if you're not willing to think about electrical safety and power limits. The Zendur SolarFlow 2400 AC is one of the most flexible plug-in home battery systems that I've tested. Its strength is definitely adaptability. If you understand what it is, and just as importantly what it isn't, it can be a very smart and affordable addition to your home energy setup. And honestly, a 17 kilowatt hour setup has never been more attractive price-wise as it is today. So go check out the link in the video's description uh, because we've reached the end of this video. If you want to have every battery with its own outlet so you can scatter them around the house in case of power outages or all kind of other stuff that might happen to you, then go watch this battery system set up over here. Go do it right now because we've reached, as mentioned before, the end of this video. 
So if you like the video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next one.